Good morning, world. <laughs> I definitely uh, feels like a Monday. Welcome to Thursday's morning mental prep for this June 22nd. Give me one second while I get my lifestyle mix. Actually, I don't even know where I got that because I, uh, I'm about to have breakfast. Breakfast is done a little early, but I can't complain. And, uh, so I'll have my lifestyle mix at work. <sighs> Let's get started. Um, actually, I also want to talk to you guys. Let me set my timer because I have got to move the time on this. I've got to do it earlier. I sit down at my desk like 6.30, 6.40ish to start my work for the day. And that's when I need to do my morning mental prep. Um, part of the reason I did it at seven after seven is because I was doing my lifestyle mix and I'm fasting. So I don't eat until after seven. Um, but with the switch up where I'm gonna have breakfast, it, you know, at home and, and my lifestyle mix later, you know, um, I, I've got to, it, it's throwing me all off. This is part of the reason why I've been all, um, been kind of off with it is because, like I said, I sit down at my desk at 6.30, 6.40 to start my day, so I need to be doing my morning mental prep then, and I'm not going to be having my shake at that time because I'm having it later anyway. Um, so I am going to, starting Monday, the 26th, this is going to be at like 6.45. Um, 6.30, 6.45. I need to look at the week leading up to Monday. Good morning, Miss Tina. Um, to see which time is best going to be, you know, suitable. 6.40 is probably the sweet spot from what I've noticed, but I'm really going to pay attention to that. So I'm giving you all a heads up now. Um, I'm still doing this for sure. Um, I enjoy doing it. I love doing it. I do the work anyway, whether I hop on here or not. Um, and so why not share it with all of you and hopefully it will help brighten your day somehow. Um, so Monday, June 26th, this morning mental prep is going to be moved from 710 to between 630 and 645. Um, but as always, it's on there for you to go back and watch the replay. And I also load them on my YouTube page. So you're welcome to hop over there. Um, it's just my name and, uh, you can find me by searching my name and so they're always available. I do have to catch up for June's videos. I haven't moved June's videos over to my YouTube yet, but all of the others that I've done for the last couple of months, not for the whole year, because I've been doing this for a year now, um, are on my YouTube. So I just wanted to give you guys that heads up. I will remind you every day this week that I'll be moving it. So, um, but I've just got to looking at my routines and and changing things and adding things and all of that I've got to that's what I'm doing and so I have to pivot and change when needed to kind of shake things up for one um, it gets things flowing kind of like that feng shui when it comes to furniture you know things get stagnant and so you want to move things around um, kind of the same effect here uh, I'm noticing that the 710 spot Especially since I'm not, you know, the shake thing, I'm switching up. Um, that was the biggest reason for doing it at that time. So I've got to, I, I just noticed that was throwing me off. As I sit down, I'm ready to do my morning mental prep. And I'm like, oh, well, now I have to wait until I get on my live. So it, it's something that has to be shifted. Um, all right. So having said that, um, like I said, I'll remind you all each day and, um, Hopefully by Monday we'll know if it's going to be 6.40, 6.45. It's probably not going to be 6.30 because rarely am I ready right at 6.30. Um, it, so it'll probably be like 6.40. But today is 
Am I? See, look, I'm even reading the wrong days. Yesterday, did I read Tuesdays? Today is Thursday, right? <laughs> oh, no, no, I did. Okay, okay. See? Way off. Oh, my word. <sighs> A mantra for taking back control. <laughs> I am responsible for my life, my feelings, and the environment, both the good and the bad. I will surround myself in positivity. End quote. When you feel at a loss for all that is happening around you, assert responsibility for your life by using this mantra. Look, I know this is going to be hard for some people because you're looking at your life, especially if things are rough and are like, I didn't want that shit to happen, right? Well, the thing is, it's the law of attraction is always working. It's not about what you don't want and do want. It's the topic. It's, you know, so if you're just thinking my life is shit, my life is shit, then that's what's just going to keep coming back to you. <laughs> You know, um, so you have to first take responsibility. Taking responsibility means you have a choice in everything, and, and a choice is a gift. <laughs> Understanding that you have a choice in how you feel, how you respond, how you act, what you all it, it, it is a fucking gift. Um, so I am responsible for my life, my feelings, and the environment, both the good and the bad. I will surround myself in positivity. <laughs> so true, so true. I love it. It's amazing when you learn that, when you, even as hard as it is, look, I can be the first one to tell you that it was hard to accept, you know, I attract the good and the bad coming from where I come from, right? Like, are you kidding me? Um, and, and I still struggle with it a little bit, but I don't spend my time focused on that anyway. I spend my, fo my time focused on, okay, great, what good can I attract? It seems to be working, so, you know, um... I had a nice routine going with uh, my morning introduction. I just realized I didn't <laughs> see. I, I've got I, this scrambledness that happens is because of where it's falling in my day now, and so I apologize for that. And I can't wait to move this back to that 6:40ish time slot. And yeah, because I've already done things. <laughs> So I've already started thinking for the day, and so it just kind of throws me off. So I'm, I'm excited about the time change, actually, in, in regards to this. But um, it's hard. It's hard. And, and I encourage you not to look at that part of it, that you've attracted whatever you don't want to be happening in your life, you know. When that's so hard and, and, and abrasive and, and just like a fucking... Like, it was hard for me to grapple with that, and I, like I said, I did under, I do understand it to a degree because I understand that we are energetic beings, and we have a vibration and a frequency, right? And so, um, but I also had, there's something there that I'm not understanding about it, and that, that twists things up for me, but that takes me to a negative space. It takes me to... It, When I don't have an answer or an understanding and, I, and I'm finding myself getting frustrated or confused or any negative feeling, I stop, I step away, and I focus on something else, something good, something I can do, something positive, something to work toward my dreams every day. And usually the answer comes up. Right. So I want you to practice that. If there is something that you're trying to understand, like you attract the good and the bad in your life, stop focusing so much magnifying on that. I am attracting the bad in my life. And that's not true because I would never do that. Well, remember, the law of attraction is always working, whether you think it is or not. And if you're just saying I want to get out of debt, all the law of attraction is hearing is debt. So it's just going to give you more debt. So if you change that to, I want financial abundance, well, the law of attraction is just going to give you more of that. This is a very simple, kind of simplistic example. Um, I, I think it illustrates it better than anything I can think of right now. So um, it doesn't have to be money, but... And, and depending upon your relationship with money, this is something that I had to work on um, because my relationship with money has been shit <laughs> because of where I come from. There was never, it just, there was never any. Um, 
So, all right, let me just close that out and move on to the law of attraction. I only got a minute left, so I'm, I'm running out of time. Um, ooh, <clears throat> I read this one on the first already, though. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to matter and energy. We moved into chapter two for the law of attraction. I just started from the beginning right now until I got my other books. Um, steps you can take to train your mind. <laughs> matter and energy. When you understand things on these levels, it's so magical. Oh my gosh. Atoms are the building blocks of matter, while energy has been called the workhorse of creation. From grade school science, you may have learned that the energy of the universe can change from one form to another, seem to disappear, move about, or remain available as potential, ener potential of energy. Oh, or remain available as potential energy. You probably also learned about the two main categories of energy, kinetic or energy in motion, my 10 minutes is up. I'm setting a three-minute timer. Keeps me focused. Kinetic or energy in motion. And potential or energy that is stored or in a position to be released. Both energy types have relevance to the law of attraction. A potential energy and potential or energy that is stored or in position to be released. This makes me think about what Abraham Hicks teaches and calling it the vortex. Your vortex is over here. Just imagine just vortex. Everything you ever desire. Everything. Everything you could ever desire. Everything you could ever imagine you desired is all over here in this stored energy. Ready to be released. But you have to access that. You have to get on that vibrational level, on that energetic level, on that frequency so that it releases that potential energy, those potential desires and dreams. And, and then you connect and become on the same and then you experience it in your reality. This is something I'm practicing. I have so many things in my vortex. So many things, so many things, <laughs> and I'm just at a place now of what if, what if it is that easy as that I just have to change my perspective and my thought process and, and my vibrational level and energetic level and get on that frequency. What if it is just that easy? I really, I made this post yesterday and then I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I don't want to get to the end and learn that everything I ever dreamed of, I very much could have had if I would have just put in the work, if I would have just shifted and tried. What if? Are you kidding me? Just what if? What if everything you ever desired is actually possible for you? Just what if? Why not? You're divine beings. The div you are made of stardust. You do know that, right? <laughs> the divinity is within you. Once you figure that out and you start accessing that, life changes. Life changes. Your pers everything changes. I'm doing that. I'm learning how and I'm just entering it. But I am so excited about where it's going to take me. And there's my second timer. So that means I went for 13 minutes at least. So I'm out. I'm going to go finish my morning mental prep, which includes my affirmations, gratitude, and a 10 or 15 minute writing dump. Um, I encourage you to do the same thing. At the very least, take five minutes, find five things that you're grateful for that happened in the last 24 hours. What are you grateful for? I'd like to know. I'm going to share something that I'm grateful for. What am I grateful for? I am grateful that I have breakfast waiting for me right now. Definitely grateful for that. Um, my hair is, is really on my nerves lately. This whole section up here is, I need it to grow out some. I just, I need, it, it needs to grow out some. <laughs> so 
Anyhow, I'm grateful that I have breakfast waiting for me. I'm about to go eat it because um, I do have to get out to work a bit early today. I will see you all tomorrow. Right now, same bat time, same bat channel at 7.10. Um, but I will be changing this to about 6.40-ish. I'm going to fine-tune that over the next week, Monday by Monday, uh, the 26th. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. And as always, peace and love.